everybody, Dave Brown here at ringside, ready to go with another day of USWA Championship Wrestling. Jeff Jarrett is joining me here today, and Jeff, listen, we've got uh, we've got uh, new champions in the USWA. We're going to hear from Owen Hart a little bit later on. We're we're going to hear <laughs> we're going to hear from uh, the new USWA Tag Team Champions coming to a little bit later on. Jeff. I know you've got a situation coming up. Uh, you agreed to a, you agreed to a match. You agreed to a match with Tony Falk, and uh, uh, losing my train of thought here. You agreed <laughs> agreed to a match with Tony Falk, hair against hair. You won it, and now the big match is signed. That's right. Yeah, let us. I I let's sign it. You mind signing his autograph? Let's, in the open. Yeah, let's let's do that, and then we. We'll uh, talk about it. The, uh, this, match has been, uh, this match has been signed now. We've been trying to get this contract signed for a couple of weeks. Uh, Jeff, Jeff, uh, Jeff, Jeff, yeah, well, okay, come on over. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I'm a big fan, man. I, I really appreciate it. I appreciate it. This is really, this is great. Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoy the show. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Now let's talk about this match, Jeff, because uh, this is a big night for you coming up here, and your hair is at stake. Now I know you didn't know when you signed that piece of paper that your hair was going to be at stake. Yeah, that's exactly right, Dave. You know, um, last week, for the people who didn't know, um, Brian Christopher came out with his own contract and said that uh, if I would put my hair up against Tony Falk's hair, I would get a title shot for the Southern Heavyweight title, and everybody knows that I've been working long and hard to get my title shot and i finally got it but uh what brian did was he just tricked me uh, yeah i i guess the only way to say the only description for it is he outsmarted you I exactly uh, i've thought about it long and hard this week and and um, really i was just plain stupid um brian uh, you know he always comes out with great ideas and all this and he thinks he's the greatest thing well he did get one over on me uh, um, I've always been taught, my dad taught me, that if you use your head, no matter what your physical abilities are, um, if you use your mental uh, aspect of, of wrestling, that you can overcome anything. Well, I didn't use it at all. And, you know, your mental uh, capability, it, it's 75, 85% of the game. And Brian outsmarted me. And, and really, I probably, I, I'm just stupid. That's all I can say. I probably did one of the dumbest things that, that really uh, I've ever done in wrestling because now the match is signed, my hair, against his title well we were all excited and all that situation just to get the contract signed and i guess nobody really paid uh, paid enough attention to uh, to what but, was going you know, on there but I, you're you're I right now you got to defend the I hair should have kept my head about me and, and but i just went right ahead and signed it and, and i'm just going to try to do the best that i can do well jeff uh i'm looking forward to the match I, I i wish the hair were not at stake i know that's a match that you do not like to be involved in but i, I said i'd never put my hair on the line i know i know and uh we're, we're gonna well, let's take a break right here and get the show underway but i want to say one other thing very proud of you for honoring the contract that's even right. though Thank you got it yeah i gotta honor every contract that i sign and that's what i plan on doing is defending my put my hair on the line against this title we'll see you in a minute thank you dave Recently, an object was sighted. It was big! Bigger than big! Huge, huge, large, astronomically big. Big would be an understatement. Very big. Huge! Some guy! Big! Huge! When it arrives, you better not be alone. <coughs> Bigfoot. Pizza Hut! From Pizza Hut. Two square feet of pizza. 21 slices on a tasty new crust. $10.99 for up to three toppings. It's bigger than Pizza Pizza. Bigfoot from Pizza Hut. A legendary value. So there I was, working late, and someone says, hey, I thought you were taking your wife for her birthday tonight. Whoa, hello. I'm in the car 10 seconds later, and you got it, no gas. I mean, why is it you always need gas when you're in a hurry? That's the beauty of this Exxon Express thing. I pull up, stick my card in here, fill it up with Exxon Supreme, grab my receipt, and I'm gone. Hey, I can make it. Birthday. <laughs> no gift. <laughs> Having a baby is a big step, and your baby deserves the most complete health care there is. <laughs> Children grow up so fast. That's why you should sign up for MedPlus now. The MedPlus program makes it simple to get all the health care your child needs every step of the way. 
Just call 1-800-523-3112 today. Do it for your children. They're only young once. First access checking. It saves you time, time, lots of time. No more tellers, waiting in line, it's out of here. You can bank by phone. And instead of writing a check, use one of these babies. Not that, this. Plus, there's a new quick statement. In seconds, you'll know which check's clear. Uh-oh. And which didn't. First access checking. The cost? Five buckaroos. The tip? Only at First Tennessee Bank. Here for you. In the ring right now, Chris Frazier is standing over on the left of the screen, and over on the right, it is Scott Taylor. Scott's set to go here, and our, our autograph fan here, boy, uh, getting, uh, getting Scott Taylor's autograph, too. Yeah, okay, all right. What, <laughs> one more autograph here, and uh, that's... All right, let's go. Ring the bell. So if I can make it ring. There we go. <laughs> And we are underway with a one fall 15 minute time limit to match Chris Frazier against Scott Taylor. By the way, in the excitement with uh, with Jeff out here and and, uh, and signing autographs and all of that, I did mention Corey has taken the day off. Corey Macklin will be back with us next week here on USWA Wrestling. Meanwhile, we'll carry on here today. Chris Frazier, victim of uh, a sore back all of a sudden as Scott Taylor starts off the action. Look at mighty good here. T.D. Steele, a referee here today. Another hip toss by Scott Taylor. And Chris Frazier, wait, Chris Frazier shoving him back very harshly, and Scott Taylor not taking kindly to it, as one might expect. Nice drop kick. Chris Frazier finds the mat one more time. Scott Taylor fires him into the ropes. Big back drops, he dumps him down to the mat, coming off there. Chris Frazier goes down to the mat one more time. Scott Taylor looking good. Good balance. Great moves in the wrestling ring from young Scott Taylor. He snapped Frazier back. Remember, Frazier doubled, hit him with double fist across the chest there. He was unhappy about something. Scott Taylor has made him pay. Snap suplex. Good one. And Frazier, you got to be wondering. Why he even bothered to answer the alarm clock this morning. Scott Taylor up on the top row. Chris Frazier more than halfway across the ring. He nails him down. He missed the hole he was going for, but he ended up knocking Frazier down, picks him up, and now he DDTs him in the middle of the ring. Count of one, two, this one is over. Give the victory to Scott Taylor as he defeats Chris Frazier. In the opening match here today, referee T.D. Steele there checking on Chris Frazier. He had a tough, tough day. Well, it's Miss Simpson and Brian Christopher headed this way. Well, here she is, Miss Simpson. Dave, you just keep your mouth shut and listen to this little lady right here. Do me a favor, take care of that imbecile over there. I don't know where you get all these freeloaders over here. Keep your mouth shut, okay? <laughs> Mrs. Texas, Mrs. Texas, what have you come up with now? Monday you have the loser gets in the mud. Well, darling, let me tell you something right now. This nanny does not get in the mud. No, a gutter rat like you, that's a different story. You belong there. Obviously, you belong there. Just take a look at this. This is class. Take a look at this. This is class. What a big difference, lady. Let me tell you, if I ever, ever, ever get my hands on you, because I never lose, ever lose. Brian, have we ever lost a match yet? Have never. we ever? No, we haven't. You can't do anything to win. So Monday, I'm going to take such pleasure in smashing your face and making you swallow up in that thick, gooey mud. <laughs> I wouldn't give you an autograph hey, if... Hey, I'm going to warn you. You keep your stinking mouth shut, okay? Mrs. Texas, shut up. Here we 
here I am, Ron Olson, spending another wonderful weekend, my vacation at Homer Skelton Ford and on a branch. Look at this. There's me fishing from the 93 conversion van. Great sale price now. And here I am catching some rays and a Mustang convertible. And then how about the red carpet lease program from Ford Credit? 93 Mustang at $189 a month. Great prices, red carpet leases from Ford Credit, and a great place to hang for the weekend. Hey, wait a minute. Uh-uh, turn the camera off. Don't show them that part. Uh-uh, stop it right there. Stop it. If you rebuild it, they will come. The one constant through all the years has been baseball. This summer offer is brought to you by Pepsi. Empty five ice cold bottles, save the caps, and get 10 bucks off free box footwear and apparel. Just like the big guy wears. Only four more to go. Dennis Hall's Auto Salvage, home of a million parts. Call or come by 3100 Gill Road and see Dennis Hall's large inventory of both domestic and foreign parts. Bumper-to-bumper -bumper body parts used in rebuilt engines and transmissions. They also specialize in both new and used glass replacement for all makes and models of cars and trucks. For steering column and depth repair, Dennis Hall's guarantees the lowest prices in Memphis. Hi, I'm Chris. Real deal talk for the best prices in town. Come on down. Well, it's here, the USWA hotline, 1-900-773-5464. That's the number to call to find out everything that's going on in the USWA. I'll be on there. You're going to find out exactly what the king's up to. Not only that, you'll hear from the star of the week in the USWA and a new segment, Jennifer's Gossip. That's right, all the dirt that goes on behind the scenes of the U.S. Wrestling Association. 1-900-773-5464. Call it right now. Do I have to tell you, it's Brian Christopher headed this way. Holder of the USWA Southern title. It's the belt that Jeff Jarrett has wanted to win for some time. Finally, though, Dave, the Dave, 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 Dave. Have you ever in your life seen anyone so smart? Hey, you sit down, you understand me? The peons around here sit down, okay? As I was saying, sit down, you idiot. I want him to sit down right now. Sit down. Tell him to sit down. Sit down. Maybe we could wait. Maybe we could wait. Hey, sit him down. No, sit down, you understand me? As I was saying before I was interrupted, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Lame brains around here. Stupidity. It runs wild, okay? And Jeff Jared, you're no exception. Did you hear? I'm warning you, you better sit the fuck down. Come on, Brian. Come on, let's just talk. Like I was saying. When Jeff Jarrett came out here, did you hear the words that came out of his mouth? I quote, he said, I am stupid. Oh my gosh, if you don't sit down. Just sign it, just sign his autograph. Now hold on, hold on, do what now? I'm the best? He said I'm the best. Hey, oh, what do you know? Somebody around here has some brains like me. Well, come here, come here. All right, man, I appreciate you. Right here. Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were so smart. This guy right here thinks I am the best wrestler in the world. Hey, hey, who do you think is going to win this week between me and Jeff Jarrett? You. Well, me. He said me. <laughs> you need an autograph. 
in the brain department is poor old sissy boy Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> I done tricked old Jeff Jarrett, boy, and you heard him when he came out. He said, I am stupid. Well, Jeff Jarrett, who can blame you for being so stupid, boy? You come from a long line of stupidity. It runs wild in your family. From your high pockets grandfather, who's one of the stupidest men I've ever seen in my life, to your own Father, I hear he's really stupid. <laughs> and you know what, Jeff? You know what? I bet your own mother, I bet she's stupid too, isn't she? She has to be stupid, Dave, to have a stupid son like you, Jeff. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you what, Jeff. We love Jeff. We love Jeff. You want Jeff? Well, I want him too. Jeff, Jeff, you done made the stupidest mistake in your life. You signed yourself in a hair match against me, boy. And I brought along a little piece of tape to show you what you're going to look like after this week is I'm with. Get that tape ready. I want to see that tape. This is what you're going to look like, Jeff Jarrett. And Jeff Jarrett came up with the win, got the pin over Falk, one, two, three, and Falk gets his head shaved right in the middle of the ring in the middle of the Mid-South Coliseum in Memphis, Tennessee. Paul, oh boy, with a new look and a new style in the USWA, this is what the legend will look like. and Leslie's not leaving anything on there. She finds a couple of more strings of hair and shaves it all off. And it is all gone, the hair of Tony Falk. Well, that was Tony Falk uh, getting his head shaved, but Tony Falk is not Jeff Jarrett. Brian Christopher was celebrating that. <laughs> Christopher in the ring, set to go against Danny Davis. He was complaining about something, the referee, and the crowd is just chanting, cry baby, cry baby, cry baby. Christopher upset. He's showing him the Southern heavyweight title that he cherishes so much. He may not have it much longer because that match, title at stake, has been signed with Jeff Jarrett coming up. Meanwhile, boy, he's got his hands full here today. Going against Danny Davis. Danny fires it into the road. Nice, nice move by Danny Davis and he does it again and puts it down on the mat. Danny Davis with the advantage over Brian Christopher. Christopher into the head scissors. I tell you what, he may see some holes he's never seen before. He is going against a tough veteran in nightmare Danny Davis who's climbed into the ring all over the world against the best talent available. He doesn't back up an inch from Brian Christopher. Christopher, I gotta hand it to him. He waited right into the action. The shoulders are down. Danny Davis dropped him down to the mat, had the shoulders down briefly. Jeff Jarrett into the studio, greeting the crowd. See Jeff's coming this way and Jeff, Jeff has just uh, picked up the autograph book from our autograph seeker here and is walking out with it. Well, I thought we were going to get to talk to Jeff here for a minute. Maybe he had a comment about Brian's match, but I don't know. All right, all right, all right Brian, get back in the ring. Hey, you better get back in the ring. He's going to count you out, Brian. Brian 
Christopher has lost. He's counted it. Hey, come on, get your hands off of him. Get your hands hey, off of him. What he do? What he do? It's a big conspiracy. He's in cahoots with Jeff Jack. I don't know what he did, but you keep your hands off the fans here. We're not going to have any of that. But you leave him alone. Hey, what he do? Get some of Jeff. General Nutrition Center's Pro Performance Amino 1000, the scientifically developed protein supplement. Amino 1000 can help give you the edge. The Amino 1000 gel capsule, designed for fast absorption. Amino 1000, exclusively at GNC, the authority in sports nutrition. Hi folks, it's Sunrise Pontiac GMC Trucks, 4th anniversary sale and all the stops have been pulled to sell 500 cars and trucks in June. A huge selection of Pontiacs and GMC trucks and remember, Sunrise is Memphis's customized van and truck headquarters with over 200 to choose from. Gigantic savings on over a million dollars worth of used cars with a lot specialized in the cars and trucks that are $29.95. No money down and on the spot delivery with approved credit, interest lowest 3.9, free hot dogs, cokes and balloons for the kids. The 4th anniversary sale at Sunrise, the ugliest building on Covington Pike, Memphis. From Hollywood Pictures, for a father, sending his only daughter away to school is very difficult. Are you trying to tell me not to have sex, Dad? Huh? Especially when she comes home with a fiancé. Maybe now is a good time to start thinking about a bachelor party. But with a little understanding... I'm gonna hit him over the head with a shovel. He'll come to realize he's not losing a daughter. We bonded. He's gaining a son-in-law. We want you to stay. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Son-in-law, rated PG-13. Starts Friday, July 2nd at a theater near you. Are you just getting by, waiting for that piece of sports equipment you need to go on sale? Why wait? At Play It Again Sports, all our used and new sports equipment is priced like it's on sale every day. Play It Again Sports. The 1993 Pontiac Bonneville, America's alternative to high-priced imports and the best bottom line value in the market today. Yes, own the loaded Bonneville SE sedan. Just $2.99 a month for 36 months. That's hundreds a month less than comparable imports. And at $2.99 a month, Pontiac includes a three-year no deductible warranty, free courtesy transportation, and 24-hour roadside assistance. The 93 Pontiac Bonneville, $2.99 a month. Put simply, the best bottom line value in the market today. See your nearest Tri-State Pontiac dealer today. Well, there ain't no doubt about the power of blue. It's got the air for thrust of a rocket fuel. Get up, get out of that jam. Get up, get in the air. Vertical, vertical, with the power of blue. Get vertical, vertical, with the power of blue. Countdown to the draft. The Courting of Anthony on Action News 5. Jeff Jarrett is headed this way. I want to get an explanation of what's going on. First, though, I want to remind everybody that uh, the contest that was held a couple of weeks ago, that's Jeff, of course, on the left. Uh, looks suspiciously like the king under a mask on the right. And, of course, Michael Fox in the middle. Life with Mikey, the name of the movie, which uh, they are in. And uh, they have some winners here today, so they're visiting with us here on uh, USWA Wrestling. And the winners are going to be going to lunch with you guys and then uh, to see the movie 1 o'clock at the uh, Malco Ridgeway coming up this afternoon, right? We've got a big afternoon plan, Dave, a very big afternoon plan. And, but Monday night's going to be even bigger, I what, believe. What is this? You've got the guy's well, autograph book. Okay, okay, I know okay, I've got okay. a little intrigue here. Brian Christopher, pull your chair up out back there in the back. You heard the saying, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth, and also a trick for a trick. Last week, I was stupid and signed a contract that I didn't read. Well, this week, you signed a contract, and you were stupid, and you didn't read it. Now, Brian, we're going to have the match. 
And it's going to be hair, my hair, versus your title. But Dave, right here, what's that right there? It says Brian, Chris, that's Brian's signature that that's he just signed. Signature. And at the top of it, it's not your picture, Brian. Oh, my goodness. Just a little paragraph here that says, Brian Christopher agrees that Jeff Jarrett can choose a special referee of his choice in the hair versus title match. So, Brian, you brought your little piece of video. I brought my little piece of video. And Monday night, it's going to be hair versus title with my special referee. And he is none other then the fabulous one, Jackie Fargo, take a real good look. Jackie Fargo is a legendary figure in professional wrestling. With the brothers Donnie and Roughhouse, Jackie formed the fabulous Fargos, the roughest wrestlers in the sport. From the 50s into the 60s, then into the 70s, the Fargos were world tag team champions many times. To uphold their reputation, the fabulous one, Jackie Fargo, fought many a top name in the professional wrestling field hard-fought battles. He held singles titles as well as tag championships with other partners and created the reputation of a true all-time champion and wrestling legend. Often imitated and never duplicated. The fabulous one, Jackie Fargo. He is a legend, no doubt about it. Jeff says that's going to be a special referee, hair versus title, special referee Jackie Fargo coming up. Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. We have lots of USWA action coming up around the territory. Let's quickly check in on that. Tonight, Jonesboro, Arkansas, returning to the Earl Bell Community Center on Church Street. The King will be there. Jeff Jarrett, Moondog Spot, Miss Texas, Miss Simpson. Tickets are on sale right now. Big night in Jonesboro. And oh, the box office will be open at 3 o'clock this afternoon, so you can pick up your tickets in advance and no, not miss any of the exciting action beginning at 8 o'clock tonight in Jonesboro. Thursday night, July 1st, USWA will be in Ripley, Tennessee at Ripley High School. It'll be on the football field. It'll move to the gym if there's rain. 8 o'clock is the time. Pick up your tickets in advance and save a dollar. That uh, $1 off advance tickets also applies the following night, Friday night, Batesville, Mississippi on July 2nd. Coming up a week later on Friday night, July 9th, West Point, Mississippi will be the scene for USWA Championship Wrestling Action. On July 16th, Friday night in Blytheville, Arkansas, National Guard Armory is the place. Jeff Jarrett, Brian Christopher, and New Jack, just some of the folks who are going to be in Blytheville on Friday the 16th. July 23rd, also a Friday night, 8.30 will be the start time in Collierville, Tennessee. And uh, it'll be at uh, Durango's. You can see all the action right there. And coming soon, USWA action in Huntington, Tennessee at the Carroll County Civic Center. Don't forget tonight in Jonesboro. Box office opens at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Action starts at 8. The King will be there. Jeff Jarrett will be there. Moondog, Miss Texas, Brian Christopher, Miss Simpson, all of them tonight in Jonesboro, Arkansas. We got lots more action coming up right here. Stay with us, fans. Hey, this is it, folks. Tonight's the night. This is the sale you've been waiting for. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan Walters at Performance Toyota in Memphis. This is the one I've been talking about all week long, our Midnight Manager Sale tonight, Saturday, 6 until 12, folks. Six big hours. Every single one of our managers will be right here with a brand-new Sharp Pencil, ready to give you the lowest price of the year. <laughs> no hassles, no gimmicks. It's just that easy. Every car and truck's on sale. You come in, we give you the rock-bottom price. Boom! It's just that easy. One place right here tonight, Performance Toyota. Don't miss out. You come and see us. Imagination, no imitation, it's totally you. The hunger's yearning and you know what to do. Head to Crystal and feed the need. Crystal, sensation succeeds. Taste the sensation, head to Crystal. Kids, start your engines and head to Liberty Land because we're giving away 31 Power Wheels this 4th of July weekend. Come to Liberty Land to register and win July 3rd, 4th, or 5th. Liberty Land, the ride of your life. TV5 presents the 14th Annual WMC Station Star-Spangled Celebration and Kraft Barbecue Sauce Cookout. 
Join us in Tom Lee Clark for food, fun, and an incredible Memphis music review featuring The Barquets, Kevin Page, and The Memphis Horn with Reverend Al Green. Admission is $2 after 5 or get in free with the proof of purchase from a bottle of Kraft barbecue sauce. Celebrate the 4th with Kraft and the WMC family of stations. The new USWA Tag Team Champions are going to be coming up here in action in just a few minutes. We've got... Uh... All right, Brian. Give me the microphone. Well, well, well. we got ourselves a little stooge out here. Jeff Sheriff's little stooge, huh? Hey, come here, Brian. Come on, come on, Brian. Hey, 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 Brian. Come here, Brian. Jeff Church's a little mastermind and you're a stooge, huh? Well, I'm gonna tell you something. This is what happens when you mess with Brian Crusher, bro. Hey, There's Jeff to help out, thank goodness. Uh, take care, yeah, Jeff, take care of him over there. All right, I was talking about the, uh, <clears throat> talking about the tag champions. We'll have them here, uh, here in the ring a little bit later on. But there's also a new uh, unified world champion. That bell changed hands uh, this past week. Owen Hart was going against Papa Shango. Papa Shango, the unified world champion. Here's some highlights of that match. Take a look. And the unified world champion, Papa Shango, celebrating during this bout already. Papa Shango, the champion, Owen Hart, the rocket, the challenger, Hart Wrestling out of Canada. Oh, look at Papa Shango. He's outside the ring. He's avoiding the referee, Frank Morrell. I don't know what he was doing, but he slammed hard. Right in the referee, Frank Morrell. We're seven minutes past on this one. Hey, look at Papa Shango asking for that funny, crazy-looking stick that he carries in the ring. And Prentice standing over there. I don't know what Bert Prentice is doing. And Papa Shango is asking for the, the stick. Oh, he grabs up Prentice in there. Nails Prentice. Prentice throws the stick to Owen Hart. And Hart takes that stick that Papa Shango carries. Now Papa Shango goes over and rolls Frank over. One, two, three. And we've got a new unified world champion. Oh boy, just like that in seven minutes and 38 seconds, the rocket! Bert Prentice looks like you changed allegiances here. Didn't change allegiances. Papa Shango is a washed up wrestler. What can I say? He lost the match. On to bigger and better things. Now this senile old goat Eddie Marlin's running around trying to book me. I gotta wrestle a midget? Are you out of your mind? This isn't no circus. He has ladies wallowing in the mud. There's no way, I'm not one of your wrestlers, Eddie Marlin, and just because you're mad, because we outsmarted you, you know, when Brett and Owen Hart called me and said, you seen what happened at the pay-per-view with the WWF, now we gotta get Jerry Lawler in the ring. Everybody knows Jerry Lawler is the biggest coward ever born. I said, Owen, I know exactly how to get him in the ring. You're the world champion, Jerry Lawler will beg to come to you. And that's what happened. It's as simple as that. And Jerry Lawler, it's going to be a long, hot summer for you, punk. Now, there's a word from Burt Prentice on the change of allegiance. We'll be back. We got lots of action still to come.
this summer's hot new family car is Family Circle's Domestic Car of the Year, Lumina, from your Mid-South Chevy Geo dealers. This well-appointed, all-American-made car is roomy, comfortable, and very affordable. Lumina is built to last, fun to drive, and offers the security and safety of ABS brakes. An $800 preferred equipment discount plus $1,250 down payment assistance add up to 2,050 good reasons to experience Lumina now at your Mid-South Chevy dealers. I'm really gonna get all those cotton pests this time. You got any karate or bathroid? I got some better. Fury. It's better on worms and weevils and holds down more aphids, too. And it costs the same. Slow the truck. <laughs> Fury from FMC. More bang, same bucks. Here's a Rentronic special that's brought to you by the numbers. Two, two, nine, nine. For $22.99 a week, you can rent to own a TV VCR combo, a washer dryer combo, a sofa and love seat, or a refrigerator. It's amazing what $22.99 can do for your home. So get what you want with those four little numbers, two, two, nine, nine. Just come to Rentronics, America's home for rent to own. When you're looking for tires that perform, fast service and savings, NTW is the name you can count on. Dunlop, Michelin, Pirelli, NTW gives you the best on the road. NTW also offers other services, front end alignment, brake service, shocks, struts, and much more. And every tire NTW sells is backed by a 125% price guarantee. NTW, it's impossible to pay less. Okay, thanks for calling. And don't forget to call back next week and I'll have some more gossip for you. USWA has given me the opportunity to travel all over the country interviewing the wrestlers when they're not in the ring. And you would not believe the gossip that I have heard. I found out who's dating who, who's really married and who's not, who's leaving the USWA and who's coming. And if you would like for me to share some of this gossip with you, you can call the USWA hotline. Now kids, if you're under 18, don't forget to check with your parents. Oops, I have another call. Hi, this is Jennifer. Hey, lots of action in the USWA in the last few days. Let me tell you about it. Uh, well, first of all, uh, the situation with Owen Hart that, uh, you know, he now is the unified champion, as we showed you just a few moments ago. And uh, how did the Hart-Lawler feud get started? Well, in case you missed it, take a look at this right here. Well... That was it from the WWF King of the Ring uh, and Lawler not at all happy about the fact that they were trying to usurp uh, his title, the, uh, the King of the Ring. But that was Bret Hart, the hitman. His brother Owen came to town challenging for the unified world title and he did get a bit of retribution. Take a look at this. Lawler, back suplex him. Look out, Jerry. Here comes the rocket on Hart. Referee Frank Morrell is going to call for the bell. In two minutes and ten seconds, the rocket on hard, and Bert Prentice come out and jump on the key. Paul Neighbors calls for the bell, and it's going to be over with. Yes, yeah, two minutes and ten seconds, Frank. Lawler wasn't about by disqualification, and the rocket on couple of right hands. Oh, look out. Here comes Paul Neighbors from behind. Paul dives and grabs Lawler. Prentice jumps in it. And they all jump on the key. So it's Owen Hart, Paul Neighbors, and Bert Prentice all jumping on Lawler. Two minutes and ten seconds. Lawler will win it by disqualification after the rocket Owen Hart brother jumps on the king and Hart is highly upset hey look at Eddie Marlin he's out Marlin's telling Paul Neighbors to stay out of it he's trying to get Paul off 
for Jared. And the action continues. Hey, Owen Hart just decked referee Frank Morrell. Paul Neighbor still swinging away on Lawler. Eddie Marlin goes out, trips up Paul again. As Owen Hart, Bert Prentice, Paul Neighbors all jump on the kick. Owen Hart! Owen Hart! Owen Hart! Listen to me, Hart! If you hit him one more time, you'll never wrestle anywhere again. Not just Memphis, but anywhere. Go ahead, just hit him one time and you'll be through. Go ahead, one time and you'll be finished. That goes for you too, Bert Prentice. Mm -hmm. Eddie Marlin with the word for Hart. Hey, come on, Prentice. Take a good look at this picture. Does it look familiar, Jerry Lawler? Take a good look at this picture. Luke Prentice out here with a rocket on Hart, who is Bret Hart's brother, and yeah, they're trying to do the same thing to Lawler. That he did, obviously, to Bret Hart. And Owen Hart out here, after being told by Eddie, hey, come on, Owen. Get out of here. Hey, Jerry Lawler, I told you, you would pay for what you did to my brother Bret. And I'm not business. I didn't come here to this scum hole in Memphis for no reason but to get a hold of you, Lawler. And I guarantee you, I'm going to do my brother Bret a big favor because I'm going to end your wrestling career, Jerry Lawler, just like you tried to do to my brother, Brett. You're going to pay for it, Jerry Lawler. Who's the only Toyota dealer in town who's got a whole lot of Toyotas with cash rebates of $1,000? Hi, I'm Suzanne Eskew, General Manager of Airport Toyota, and we have deals that are hot, hot, hot on our sporty Paseo and Tercel. Use this $1,000 rebate as a down payment or put it in your pocket for a vacation to escape the summer heat. Get a hot deal at Airport Toyota where you get a terrific deal and a $1,000 rebate exclusively at Airport Toyota, conveniently located at Mill Branch and I-240. Come in. Come, Dave, we're here. Say, nice place you got here. Oh. Dave, you remember the twins, Norma Jean, her boyfriend, Luke, and this is Ding Chow, our exchange student. What's happening? I'm starved. Well, we go to Wendy's. This summer, Wendy's has something for everyone, like Junior Bacon Cheeseburgers and Caesar Side Salads on the 99-cent Super Value menu and a hamburger kid's meal for $1.99. Yeah, time to go. So soon? You talked us into it. We're staying. <laughs> John, how you doing? You know AutoZone customers are pretty special. I mean, they take great pains in doing a job just right. So they know exactly what they want. That's why we carry so many products, and also why we price them so low every day of the week. Because you've got to admire a guy who'll tackle a job like putting in a starter, a water pump, a rack and pinion. And you've got to give a guy like that exactly what he wants. The right parts and the right price. If it's got a plug, it's on sale at Jolly Royal. Get great low prices and low monthly payments on electronics and appliances from RCA, GE, Frigidaire, Kelvinator, and Tappan. This Kelvinator refrigerator is less than $29 a month. A Frigidaire washer less than $25 a month. An RCA TV less than $35 a month. A color TV by Gold Star is less than $20 a month. This GE VCR is less than $20 a month. Why rent when you can own? Buy smart by Jolly Royal. Four product lines, Saturday service, but what does the Mid-South say about the new Guatney Chevrolet Geo Oldsmobile Isuzu? They saved me a lot of money. They had selection, they had the color, and they had the option of the color that I wanted. And they treated me with the utmost respect, and I appreciate that. Over a hundred different truck models at one location. New full-size work trucks, just $10,988. Fully equipped new full-size trucks with air, automatic, and stereo, $12,988. The future is here today at Guatney Chevrolet Geo Oldsmobile Isuzu, 2000 Covington Pike.
Pepsi at the Pyramid July 2nd for the opening night of the Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey Circus and get a free Crystal Pepsi and a hot dog on us. The latest weather information with InstaLert 5 on TV5, the Mid-South's news leader. The King is on the way. I'd like to get a word from him about, uh, about this situation with uh, the Hart family. Uh, Brett the Hitman Hart, of course, and now Owen Hart. And here's the King right here. Got the crown in hand and uh, something else, too. King? Yeah, I got something else here. I want to talk for just... I, I want to kind of clear the air. I want to straighten a few things out. You know, I've been having people come to me and say, King... What is the deal? We see you on the World Wrestling Federation, and you seem like the baddest guy that we have ever seen. Well, you're exactly right, because everybody in Memphis, Tennessee knows that the king is bad, brother. If you don't believe it, just hang around a while, and I'll prove it to you. Now, everywhere for the past probably eight years that I've gone, people tell me, they say, King, I remember when you wouldn't take no crap off nobody. I remember when somebody messed you around, you got real bad. You got real mean. You didn't take nothing. You didn't put up with all of this stuff that goes on nowadays. That was the old king. That was the king that everybody in Memphis, Tennessee grew to love, to love to hate at one time. But then, understand this, after a while, they knew that when the king meant business, he was going to get the job done. And then that's the king that they grew to love. And let me tell you something. I love these people in Memphis, Tennessee. They love me. But I'm going to tell you something else. Anybody else in New York City, anybody else up north, I don't give two hoots about you, understand? That goes for everybody in the WWF, from Vince McMahon to Howard Finkel to Bret Hart and now to Owen Hart. I told everybody up there when they came up with the idea to have this King of the Ring tournament, I said, there's already one King of Wrestling. And you're looking at him right here. Because I've been going in and out of these rings, not just in Memphis, but all over the world. And I've been kicking butts and taking name for my entire career. I drove and I flew up and down every highway in this country. And I wrestled every wrestler that ever stepped in the ring to make the name King mean something. I didn't go around calling myself Superstar Jerry Lawler. I didn't go around calling myself Macho Man Jerry Lawler. And I sure didn't call myself Hitman Jerry Lawler. I am the King Jerry Lawler. And as far as I'm concerned, I am the only king there's ever going to be in wrestling. Do you understand that, Bret Hart? Now, for you to come along and have some little rinky-dink tournament, beat three measly wrestlers, and then want to call yourself the king, you're damn right. That makes me hot. And then when I step up on that stage and confront you with it, Bret Hart, you have the audacity to call me a Burger King. Well, let me tell you something. When he called me the Burger King, I gave him the Whopper, didn't I? Now, all I got to say to you, Bret Hart, is me and you got some unfinished business. Somewhere down the line, our paths are going to cross and you're gonna wish they hadn't. But in the meantime, I got somebody I'm gonna take care of, and that is your punk brother, Owen Hart. Now usually, usually the big brother goes around taking care of business for the little brother, but apparently Bret Hart is such a coward, he's sending his little brother down to try to do what he can't do. I want you to take a good close look at this picture. It's from last Monday night. Can you get a shot of it right there? That is me laying down on the steps with Owen Hart standing over me. I've looked at this picture every day, and I will look at this picture every day until Monday night. And I'm gonna promise Owen Hart 
and I'm going to promise everybody in Memphis, Tennessee, that's the last time you'll ever see the king in this position. Do you understand that? Do you hear what I'm saying, Owen Hart? Because I got something in store for you, punk. You come on down to Memphis. Come on down to my backyard. Because me and you got a date Monday night. And you ain't going to like it. Because you may not only get the whopper, you may get flame broil too, punk. Come on, sir. Boy. The king. I don't know that I've seen him that intense in a long, long time about anything as this confrontation with Owen Hart for the unified title coming up Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. A lot of things going on Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. Let me collect some of this here. Oh, let's start with the fireworks right here. Uh, maybe we can get, uh, get a shot. Uh, okay, right here. Over, right, and I'll kind of try to tilt it up a little bit. Look at this. Yeah, big assortment and also a uh, main event rocket assortment the Jerry Lawler the Kings main event rocket assortment uh, goes along with it too uh, someone is going to win some fireworks at uh, the uh, Mid-South Coliseum uh, no purchase necessary all the details will be coming up uh, there and uh, what else well the box office uh, is going to be open till 4 30 this afternoon and then it'll be open again Monday beginning at 10 o'clock I think maybe you want to run by there and pick up your tickets in advance and you'll see why as we go along. Let's start with the opening match here. The legend, the, the legend with no hair. Now, Tony Falk lost his hair last week. This week he goes against Jeff Gaylord, the legend against Jeff Gaylord to get this big night of action underway at the Mid-South Coliseum on Monday night. Scott Taylor, you saw him a little bit earlier. Boy, he looked really good in here too, winning the opening match today. He'll be teamed with Randy Rocket to go against the principal C.W. Bergstrom and Bo Alexander. Those two teamed up. Then a special challenge match. I want to find out more about this one a little bit later on. I'm going to try to talk to Danny Davis a bit later. Danny will be going against referee Paul Neighbors. Uh, Neighbors, uh, well, anyway, you know, I think, uh, a bit of the uh, history there uh, with uh, Neighbors against Lawler and uh, the attitude that all of a sudden he's developed and uh, Danny Davis not too happy about some things that have happened to his thus the challenge match as he gets in the ring against Paul Neighbors following that USWA tag titles will be on the line new champions new Jack and homeboy they won the belts from the former champions Rex King and Steve Dahl with Burt Prentice in their corner and the rematch comes up Monday night at the Coliseum King and Dahl were in Incredibly unhappy at the turn of events last week at the Mid-South Coliseum. I've been hearing about that all week. Well, we'll find out if New Jack and Homeboy can defend the USWA tag titles when they step in there against the former champions this Monday night. A special added match coming up. Prentice is not happy about this at all. He is going to be stepping in against one of the little people, Lone Eagle. Lone Eagle against Big Burt Prentice in a special challenge match a special added match Monday night at the Coliseum then the big one the southern title of Brian Christopher will be on the line Jeff Jarrett will be finally finally getting the chance to take that belt from Brian Christopher he's got to put his hair on the line he was tricked by Brian Christopher so Jeff's hair is at stake against Brian's title but right there in the middle you see Jeff he came up with a little trick of his own and got Brian to sign a special stipulation for the match that the special referee will be the legend, the fabulous one himself, Jackie Fargo, special referee, no time limit, no disqualification. What a match coming up Monday night for the Southern Heavyweight title. Unified title will be on the line too. Boy, get ready for this one. The King has already told you what might happen as he goes against Owen Hart. Owen Hart, the unified title holder. Lawler looking not only to win the title, but also kind of get even for what went on a week ago at the hands of Owen Hart. And then it's going to be a mud pit match. Now, you heard a little bit about this from Miss Simpson a little bit earlier. Got a big old trough, fill it up with mud, and the loser gets thrown in the mud pit. Miss Texas against Miss Simpson. All of this coming up Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. Finally, Jeff gets that shot at Brian Christopher in the belt. 
box office again opened at four up till 4 30 today and it'll be open beginning at 10 o'clock monday don't miss this one monday night 7 30. The Mid-South's number one volume leader, Shelby Dodge, has red-tagged all vehicles with a new no-haggle price, clearly marked. So for that second car, here's a new 93 Dodge four-door shadow, just $199 a month, zero down. Choose from over 100 pre-owned cars for $19.88, all red-tagged with our no-haggle price, $49.88 or $59.88, a car for every budget. Call us for an up-to-date list. We're your no-haggle red-tag dealer, Tennessee's number one Dodge dealer, Shelby Dodge, on Mount Moriah in Memphis. Recently, an object was sighted. It was big. Bigger than big. Huge, huge, large, astronomically big. Big would be an understatement. Very big. Huge. Some guy. Big. Huge. When it arrives, you better not be alone. Bigfoot. Pizza Hut. From Pizza Hut. Two square feet of pizza. 21 slices on a tasty new crust. $10.99 for up to three toppings. It's bigger than Pizza Pizza. Bigfoot from Pizza Hut. A legendary value. Uh, hello, I'm looking for a tail light for an 81 T-Bird. Uh, you wouldn't know if you have one in stock. Sure, when do you need it? I was wondering if you had a bucket seat for a 1980 Capri. Sure do. I can see it from here. Could you help me find a fender for a 1981 Ford truck? Yeah, I'll get right on it. Levy Auto Parts offers a complete line of motor parts, and Levy's continues its fantastic $10 special on a wide variety of used parts. Levy Auto Parts with two convenient locations, 1720 North Thomas and 1336 North Second. Smith. Rock and Roll's gigantic event. Steven Tyler, Joe Perry, Tom Hamilton, Brad Whitford, Joey Kramer, Aerosmith. Live June 28 in the Pyramid. The tour the world has been waiting for. Get a grip. Special guest, Jackal. Reserve seats now at Ticketmaster or charged by phone. June 28, Aerosmith. The King is back out here. King, uh, just, just before you uh, you get going with this, I, I, I do want to remind everyone that next week, uh, USWA Wrestling is going to be on a special time, 4 to 5 o'clock. If you have tickets, we're going to be taping at the regular time, but it, then it will be seen on the air 4 to 5 next week due to Wimbledon coverage. That's next week only. Okay, King, I'm sorry. All right, Dave, I, I just want to come back out here for just a second. I, got, I, was, I am as, probably as mad and as upset as I've ever been in my entire yeah. career. I forgot half of the things that I really wanted to mention while I was out here before, and I appreciate you letting me come out for just one more second. One of the things that I wanted to get off my chest also, as you saw on that video a while ago, referee Paul Neighbors. Now, he was a big part of Owen Hart being able to do what he did to me Monday night. <clears throat> well, I went to Eddie Marlin, and I said, I'm not finished with Paul Neighbors. And I said, I need another shot at him because I got a little score to settle with him. So tonight in Jonesboro, Arkansas, Eddie's been good enough to add a little match over in Jonesboro with me and Mr. Paul Neighbors. So I'm looking forward tonight in Jonesboro, Arkansas, and for everybody in Memphis, if you don't see Paul Neighbors anymore after tonight, you'll know what happened to him. Another thing I want to mention, as you said earlier, we've got a, a lot of fine people here that won the contest uh, last week, or week before last, and they're going to get to go this afternoon with uh, Jeff Jarrett and I to the Malco Ridgeway Theater, which is at Poplar and I-240. And uh, we want to thank the people at the Malco Theater for allowing these 15 people and Jeff and I to come to see the movie Life with Mikey this afternoon. But we also want to invite anybody out there right now. We're going to be out there. Jeff and I are going to be out there. And all of these people are going to be there at 1 o'clock this afternoon is what time the movie starts. You're all invited. Everybody in Memphis that's watching right now, we'll have free pictures for everybody. 1 o'clock, if you want to come to see Life with Mikey with Jeff and I, it'll be today at the Malco Ridgeway at I-240 in Poplar. And it's free for all the winners. Everybody else, Dutch treat, right? Well, everybody else kind of got to pay, but I think it's, it's matinee prices, so it's sure. not that bad. Also want to mention tomorrow afternoon, my softball team is going to be down in Victoria, Mississippi. And uh, we got a big double header in Victoria tomorrow. We're going to go over against the Victoria Braves and also the Victoria Fire Department down there. Also, remember, the first 200 people down there get a free ticket to Monday Night Wrestling. And believe me, oh, you don't want to miss week. Monday night, I can assure you. Uh, one other thing i got to mention here, too, we want to thank the people at Pizza Hut out on Fraser Boulevard because they are donating a bunch of pizzas that we're going to have here right before we go out to the movie. And just a little bit, one for you, too, Dave. Hey. And uh, I think that is all i got to mention there. Also, well, this Thursday, July the 1st, I'm going to be over at the Price Chopper in Truman, Arkansas, all day long over there, making a personal appearance in Truman. So come and see me over there. But don't forget, Monday night, Owen Hart 
I'm going to send you back home to your brother and your mother and your father and your whole family with a little message from the real king of wrestling. And what I'm going to do, punk, it ain't going to be a pretty sight because I'm going to rearrange your face so that your own family won't recognize you and then you're going to have to send your brother, Bret Hart, to see the real king. Be there Monday night. There's the king. Boy, I tell you what, don't, you, you don't want to miss that one Monday night. Let me tell you, it is shaping up to be quite a night, including a return tag team match. Mark Freer, all of a sudden last week, New Jack was in the territory, and he said, not going to be Mark anymore. It is now going to be Homeboy. They announced they had formed a tag team. They went after the USWA tag team titles held by Rex King and Steve Dahl, and they won them. Take a look. off the metal roll, flying press. He got it! One, two, three! Hey, ring the bell! That's what Paul's gonna call for, I think. New Jack and Homeboy get the one, two, three over Simply Divine. Hey, New Jack and Homeboy are new. The 1993 Pontiac Bonneville, America's alternative to high-priced imports, and the best bottom line value in the market today. Yes, own the loaded Bonneville SE sedan. Just $2.99 a month for 36 months. That's hundreds a month less than comparable imports. And at $2.99 a month, Pontiac includes a three-year no deductible warranty, free courtesy transportation, and 24-hour roadside assistance. The 93 Pontiac Bonneville, $2.99 a month. Put simply, the best bottom line value in the market today. See your nearest Tri-State Pontiac dealer today. Dennis Hall's Auto Salvage, home of a million parts. Call or come by 3100 Gill Road and see Dennis Hall's large inventory of both domestic and foreign parts. Bumper to bumper body parts used in rebuilt engines and transmissions. They also specialize in both new and used glass replacement for all makes and models of cars and trucks. For steering column and theft repair, Dennis Hall's guarantees the lowest prices in Memphis. Hi, I'm Chris. Real deal coffee for the best prices in town. Come on down. At the Happy Hawker, you'll find all kinds of merchandise at incredible savings. If you like to pay reasonable prices when you buy musical instruments, cameras, TVs and VCRs, tools, even jewelry, china and antiques, or you're the kind of person who really searches for just the right gift at just the right price, then you may make a great pawn shopper. Do you need a short-term loan? We loan almost anything of value. So come to the Happy Hawker at either of our two convenient locations, 975 East Parkway South across from Liberty Land, or visit the Happy Hawker at 196 South Cooper near Union. we got a match coming up, but first, Miss Texas is here for a word about an upcoming match. Miss Simpson, you call me a gutter rat? And you're not used to rolling in mud? Well, honey, I heard you used to do more than roll in mud, if you know what I mean. Miss Simpson, you truck stop tramp? Now, when I get you in the ring... Hold on, Dave. Oh, me. That's a... Ooh. When I get you in the ring, I'ma get a handful of mud and shove it down your throat and make you like it. Cause you couldn't beat me on your best day. You hear me, honey? Now you either have Brian Christopher. 
All right, look out. Here's Bert Prentice coming out here. Bert, we're trying to conduct an interview, and then we've got a match if you don't mind. Number one, Brian Christopher is way too upset over what Miss Jarrett did to come out here and defend Miss Simpson's honor, and I'm going to do it. Let me tell you, you gutter tramp, you're nothing but a rat in this business, and you're not going to come out here and talk bad about Miss Simpson or anybody else. Now, Eddie Marlin may be mad at me and may be mad at the Hart family, but this is not a circus. This is professional wrestling. I'm not going to wrestle no midget, and you can't make me, and Miss Simpson's not going to come out in some mud pit match against you because you're nothing but a cheap gutter tramp. You belong Wait in there. Wait that a minute. That looks like your house. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, fat boy. Oh. You don't give orders. You don't run nothing around here. Only thing you run is your mouth. You are going to wrestle that midget, and Miss Simpson is going to wrestle me for that mud pit match. You're not going to tell me, number one, what I'm going to do just because you're kind of in with Eddie Marlin, if you know what I mean, Bubba Johnson. And if you don't shut your mouth, I'm going to throw you in there myself right now. Hey, fat boy, I don't think you're bad enough to do it. Oh, you don't? No, I don't. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Come on, Bert Oh, my goodness. There's some help for, for Miss Texas. <laughs> That's Lone Eagle. Oh, Bert Prentice. Ooh, my goodness gracious. Into the mud. Get him out of here. Oh, my goodness. There he goes. Mud and all. Knocked into the uh, into the mud pit by Lone Eagle and Miss Texas. Here come your USWA Tag Team Champions on their way to the ring right now. New Jack and Homeboy, they have won the belt from Rex King and Steve Dahl. The question now is, of course, can they successfully defend? and start a long run as champions on their own. Rex King and Steve Dahl held the belt for a long, long time. This is not a title defense here today, but there is a title defense coming up. What is this? Burt Prentice still running around through the studio. <laughs> Lone Eagle smacking him with a broom <laughs> as he went through there. Meanwhile, back in the ring, it's New Jack working against Sergeant O'Reilly. And oh boy. Takes a shot at him from outside. Sergeant O'Reilly's partner, Mr. Clyde, over in the corner. Boy, the action has been going here today. We're not done yet. This match, Sergeant O'Reilly really feeling pretty confident and also really unhappy with some of the, something that someone said in the crowd. He started out that way, but then thought better of it and climbed back in the ring. Meanwhile, New Jack, taking care of business, just takes him down to the mat. New Jack. And homeboy, the former Mark Freer, teaming up just not that many days ago. They formed the team. New Jack says, hey, it's no more Mark Freer. New attitude, a winning attitude. Boy, did it work. Oh my goodness, here's Bert Prentice. Run around here again. Bert, get out of here. Where's that midget? I'm hunting a midget. I'm gonna kill that midget. You're not gonna come out and humiliate me. I want that midget. Where's I'm gonna find that midget? This is not funny anymore, Arlen. I don't know where he is. He left. He headed for the dressing room the last I saw. And you say he's not gonna come out here and humiliate you. He's already done it. He's not here, Bert. He's gone. He went to the dressing room. Now, get out of here. Get him concentrate on a match, for heaven's sake. Go. It's the homeboy in the ring right now against Mr. Clyde. He drops down, and Mr. Clyde finds himself in trouble. Count is two. I thought maybe he had him there. Had a two count. Referee T.D. Steele said, nope, only counted to two. The action continues. New Jack in after the tag. 
Mr. Clyde coming off the ropes, and New Jack just powers him right down to the mat. New Jack drops down with a big right hand. The USWA Tag Champions. Well, we're glad to have them here in action today. They've got a tough title defense coming up. Rex King and Steve Dahl, when they lost those belts to them, they were livid. Man, were they upset. And the homeboy drops down, and Sergeant O'Reilly not faring too well against him. Big old clothesline, and Sergeant O'Reilly's down on the mat. No doubt who the crowd's behind, big time. They like Hugh Jack and Homeboy. Uh, Sergeant O'Reilly tried to block him, but it didn't work. Homeboy picked him up and took him down to the mat. New Jack grabbed him by the left arm, follows with a big forearm a couple of times across the back. Got a one, two, it's over! And New Jack and Homeboy win the match here today. As we said, an on-title match, but it doesn't matter to the crowd. They are celebrating with them in their victory here today over this team of their opponents that they were sitting there to face. New Jack and Homeboy continue to look mighty, mighty good. Tell you what, a little bit earlier we talked about Danny Davis and referee Paul Neighbors. Now, referee Paul Neighbors got in his licks against Jerry Lawler, but looks now like he's jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. Take a look at this. Falk and Brian Christopher celebrating their victory here, the two of them. Put the chain in there. That's three against one. And, yeah, Danny Davis is telling the referee exactly what happened. He's telling Paul what went on in there. Referee Paul Neighbors. He said that uh, he didn't see it. Oh, well, oh Danny shows ball. Oh, old shoving going on in there. The referee Paul Davis, he's telling Danny Davis he'll suspend him. Yeah, he, he said, get out of here, I'll yeah. suspend you. And Danny's saying, all right, I don't want to get suspended, but here's what happened. Look, let me calmly explain to you what happened. That's on Paul, Paul. Oh, yeah. Hey, come on, Paul. Oh, yeah. Referee Paul. Oh, oh. Daddy, Daddy. Hey, here comes Eddie. Here comes help. Stop him, Eddie. He'll get suspended if uh, he hits the referee in a $1,000 fine. Oh, that's what, yeah. That's what Eddie's telling Danny right now. Boy, you hate to see that whole situation in there. Paul Neighbors. Hey, look at Paul. He hot filled it out of there. Well, here went Paul Neighbors, but uh, you saw exactly what happened. And Paul had just said a few minutes before that, was, that was just last week right here on television, Paul had said just before that, I've developed a new attitude. I'm not going to have these guys shoving me around in the ring and all of that sort of thing. Well, again, you just saw that videotape, but that wasn't the end of it. Uh, later in the week, uh, it, it was a match, uh, Danny Davis against uh, Principal C.W. Bergstrom, and Davis and Neighbors got into it again. <laughs> was almost deliberately holding on to that middle rope. That was almost obvious, too, almost very obvious. And Danny Davis is explaining. He's telling Paul what happened. I referee Paul Neighbors standing there. In 10 minutes and 23 seconds, you're winner of the bout. It's Principal C.W. Bergstrom. C.W. Bergstrom, your winner in 10 minutes and 23 seconds. Oh, Danny Davis is still upset with Paul Davis. He's telling Paul that Bergstrom was holding on to the middle rope. Oh, Danny shoved Paul Davis. Danny said, hey, no, I had three or four times he pulled my hair. And Paul Davis is telling Danny Davis that he'll... Oh! Get him fine in there. Danny said he doesn't care. 
And shows fall for about the third time. And Neighbors stops under the ropes over there. I don't know if that'll do him any good, though, because Danny Davis is highly, highly upset. Paul Neighbors just kind of leans over, and Danny said, well, oh, look out, Danny! Paul Neighbors jumps him from behind. He shot Danny Davis, and there goes Paul. He takes out of here quick. Well, there he went right there. And, uh, you know, we talked about it last week. Hey, here comes Danny right here. We talked about it last week, and officials in all sports certainly come in for more than their share of criticism. A lot of it is unjustified. But, Danny, with Paul Neighbors, it's, uh, it looks like a pattern. You know, let me, let me tell you something. I, I want to ask these fans one thing. Do you like Paul Neighbors? You know, that's the general consensus of every wrestling fan throughout the USWA and has been for quite some time. You know what, Paul Neighbors? I think the whole problem with you is you're frustrated. You're a frustrated old man because you never could make it as a wrestler and you obviously can't make it as a referee because I think you're jealous of Jeff Jarrett. I think you're jealous of Jerry Lawler. I think you're jealous of the newcomer, Scott. And I also think you're jealous of Nightmare Danny Davis. Well, let me tell you something. Every fan that I've talked to throughout the USWA has said, you seem to favor wrestlers like Burt Prentice. You seem to favor wrestlers like C.W. Bergstrom. You seem to raise the hand of Brian Christopher more so than you do guys like us. Well, let me tell you something. That's bad enough, but the, bad, the worst thing about it is twice, you, you humiliated me right there. It embarrassed me in front of all my fans on live television. I wasn't going to hit you. I was going to threaten you. I started to walk away. You shoved me down. Well, let me tell you something. The, the match we had later on in the week, you did the same thing. You sucker punched me from behind. Well, I'm going to ask the fans something. Would, you, would it matter to you if I took Paul Neighbors and got him in the ring this week if I took his head and stuck it right between my legs and I jumped up in the air about three feet and dropped him on his head, would you care? Okay, Paul Neighbors, this is for every wrestling fan that you have ever made mad. And this is especially for me because for the past few weeks you have been a thorn in my side. And for the frustrated man that you are, I am going to end your career. You will never referee again and you certainly won't be a wrestler because I'm going to take you, put your head between my legs, and put you out of the USWA. This summer offer is brought to you by Pepsi. Empty five ice cold bottles. Save the caps and get 10 bucks off free box footwear and apparel. Just like the big guy wears. Only four more to go. Covington Pike Toyota is hot. $84.90 for a loaded new Tercel, most trouble-free in its class. $89.90 a loaded new Toyota truck, most trouble-free in America. Full-size truck, T100, $11,990. Loaded, America's top-rated truck. 900 new Toyotas, 400 used cars. Lowest prices of the year. Covington Pike Toyota is hot. Toyota. Kids, start your engines and head to Liberty Land because we're giving away 31 Power Wheels this 4th of July weekend. Come to Liberty Land to register and win July 3rd, 4th, or 5th. Liberty Land, the ride of your life. What makes Action News 5 the Mid-South's news leader? 
Investigators in Wynn say they now have what they need to search for a suspect in the murder of a 13-year-old girl. And how did police learn about the computer imaging process that identified the victim? Matter of fact, found out through Channel 5. Action News 5's Janice Broach brought the identification technique to the attention of investigators. Action News 5, 24 hours a day, the Mid-South's news leader. Hey, the King, uh, one more time, asked me to remind you uh, about the uh, big softball games coming up. Victoria, Mississippi, tomorrow, 1 o'clock at Walter Norman Park in Victoria, Mississippi. King's Army is going to be there. They're going to be playing uh, the Victoria Fire Department and the Braves, two top teams from that area. Uh, King's Army is undefeated, and I tell you what, as steamed as he is, if he pretends that that softball uh, has anything to do with uh, Owen or Bret Hart, uh, I, I expect it's going out of the park quite a bit tomorrow. That's 1 o'clock, Walter Norman Park, Victoria, Mississippi, tomorrow afternoon monday night at the mid-south coliseum box office going to be open to 4 30 today you may want to if you're going to be out this afternoon just run on by pick up your tickets until 4 30 for the action and then the box office will be open beginning at 10 o'clock monday morning so you can pick up advanced tickets and won't miss any of this great action coming up monday night the legend with no hair tony falk is going to be going against jeff gaylord in the opening match Scott Taylor, again, a winner here today. Very good-looking uh, young wrestler. He's going to be teamed with Randy Rocket to go against Principal C.W. Bergstrom and Bo Alexander. Alexander, a wrestler that came in here with, uh, with one of those attitudes. A special challenge match. Danny Davis told you about it moments ago. Paul Neighbors, the referee, has been put on notice by Danny Davis. The special challenge match, Davis against Paul Neighbors, one against one in the ring, happens Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. And I think you fans at home heard how the fans here feel about the action coming up. They're pulling for Danny Davis to put the hurt on Paul Neighbors come Monday night. USWA tag titles at stake. They won the belts a week ago. New Jack and Homeboy. Well, you can win tag titles. Can you defend them successfully? That will be the question Monday night as a very upset former team champion, Rex King and Steve Dahl with Burt Prentice in their corner, will be attempting, and I'm sure they'll be going all out, to take back the belts from New Jack and Homeboy. Special added match. Burt Prentice against Lone Eagle. Burt Prentice says, no, I'm not going to wrestle him. He's not going to have anything to do with him. And Lone Eagle puts him in the big pit of mud here. Southern title at stake against Jeff Jarrett's hair. The match finally signed. Remember that Jackie Fargo's the special referee. Brian, it's, done. it's a done deal. I want to thank everybody from Fireworks City for sending all these fireworks down here because it's going to be a big, big celebration Monday night. Jackie Fargo, how are you going to feel when you have to get down and count Jeff Jarrett's shoulders? One, two, three, and then stand there and watch him get his head shaved bald. <laughs> Uh, we'll see who's celebrating with the fireworks come Monday night. Unified title, Owen Hart, the champion, against the King, Jerry Lawler. And then the Mud Pit match, Miss Texas against Miss Simpson. There'll be a fireworks giveaway, no purchase necessary. Huge night, Monday night. We got to go back next week with more from the USWA. Until then, I'm Dave Brown. So long, everybody. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely the promoters of USWA Championship Wrestling.